The Season 5 content currently in the MCC, but not going to be available to be unlocked until January when the season actually comes in, I can show you right now how to unlock the content and play around with it in some custom games. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you a tutorial video on the MCC. If you like these kind of informative videos, make sure you tap that like button as it really helps out the video and channel. If you want to stay up to date with all the news and information happening in Halo's universe, make sure you tap subscribe guys to keep yourself up to date. Let's get right into the content here. Now with the recent update of Season 5 content into the MCC right now, it's a bit of a preload, but currently it's locked and you cannot unlock it right now. But you've probably seen me and some other content creators going online and posting in-game screenshots of new weapon skins and armor sets as well. I've seen people say it's some kind of mod that I'm using or I have early access to an unknown flight. Both of those are not true. It's a simple fix that you can do on the PC version of the MCC to be able to unlock everything in the game. Not just season five content, but literally every unlockable in the game you can unlock with a simple text fix. So I wanna showcase how to do that in this video. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is find out where you're installing your Steam games. I know how to do this on Steam. I don't know how to do this on the Windows Store. I tried to do this on the Windows Store actually, and it's super complicated, really annoying. Basically, if you wanna to try to modify your game at all, don't bother with the Windows Store version, get the Steam version. Honestly, like it's so much of a hassle. I've tried guys, like this is so much easier to work with. Um, so sorry for all your Windows players and all your Xbox players, but for your Steam PC users, you'll be able to use it. So basically, you wanna find out where you install your game. So you go on the Steam apps. Then you go into common, then you go into the MCC right here, and then you go into data, UI, and then this is the folder you want to find right here. And you can see this one file called unlockdb.xml. What you want to do is copy that, we'll do that right here, make a copy of it, because this is going to be your original version of the game, because once you modify this, the anti-cheat is going to pick up that you've modified a file, and you will not be able to enter matchmaking games or unlock anything within a season pass. But this is a cool way just to kind of make some you know, cool armor sets within the custom games and stuff like that. So you want to make sure you keep a copy of the original, and because the game is going to be looking for this exact file name right here. We can open that up in WordPad. You'll see a nice long text list of all the unlockables within the MCC. This comes with nameplates, armor sets, and pretty much anything you need to unlock in the game, it's in this file. So what you need to do is essentially turn everything that's, it, that's tied with locked and hidden right here. You need to change, and also locked and invisible, you need to change that to this one. E unlocked, stay unlocked. That's the way to do that in WordPad is very easy. Just click on replace up here. And then what you'll see brings up this little item right here so you, what do you want to change you want to change this word right here to this word right here for the unlock state just say replace all done and then you'll see you, you'll confirm that it happened because it did change that last phrase right there for you you can see that it actually did work now you also just want to cover all your bases and make sure you have this one as well so replace this with the unlocked state as well Copy that in, replace all. Now you can confirm it worked because now they all these say unlocked. So everything that was locked previously is now unlocked within the MCC. So we can just close out that, hit save, close it out, and then we can start up the MCC. When you launch this, you also want to make sure you have anti-cheat disabled as well because since you change the file within the game, the anti-cheat will pick it up and make it so you can't load the game. So you want to make sure you have anti-cheat disabled. And here we are in the MCC. You click on career and options. You'll see that it, the file actually is saved properly because you're unable to unlock anything in the challenge system. So you can go to customization just to kind of confirm. Say go to Halo 3. You'll probably have a bunch of these little exclamation check marks letting you know that something happened. And most likely it's because you have now unlocked all the new armor sets within Halo 3, but not only just Halo 3, but it also would unlock for literally everything else within, you know, the game itself. So like you have new chest pieces right here for Halo Reach as well. Uh, we have, like you said, we can check out the GRD helmet if you'd like as well, just to, you know, just kind of give you a cool visual of the whole thing, like right there, boom, it's the GRD awesomeness right there. You can see we have some, uh, you have unlocked all the weapon skins when it comes to uh, Halo CE as well. So literally everything in the game is unlocked. And like I said, 
you will not be able to unlock any challenges with the file modified, but you will be able to go into custom games and take some cool screenshots or play around with the different options to kind of just check out and see how everything looks. Now we're going to go into how you change it back so you can just play like normal. Now if you want to change everything back to normal, you just have to change the original file, which we made a copy of right here, to the original name. So what I like to do is probably just rename this one, call it, say, you know, dash unlocked or something. It can be literally any name. It could be just like Master Chief if you want to call the file that, you know? As long as it has this file name in the original file, you'll be totally fine. So we'll just name this back to the original and then we can launch the MCC once again. You can have just regular old MCC. You can don't have to click on the anti-cheat disabled version as well. You can just click right into the game here. And so if you go over to options, you can see the challenge hub is available for us now. And you can also go into the customization, check on like, or in high helmets or whatever, you can see everything is back to unlocked. So you can go around and play with all the fun stuff you can as normal in the MCC until season five finally releases in January. So hopefully this tutorial video helped you figure out how to unlock things in the MCC. Now, like I said, this doesn't specifically go for season five. This goes for all the unlocks within the game for the Steam version on PC. Just make sure you make a copy of the original because if you don't, it makes it way more difficult to figure out how to put it back the normal way. Just make sure you make that copy. It makes it super easy. You can just leave the edited file in the in your game as well. I just call it something else besides the original file name and you'll be totally fine. If this worked out for you, that's awesome. I would love to see you guys share some screenshots of your unique armor sets when it comes to the Halo 3 customization. My Twitter handle is in the description down below and probably in the pinned comment as well. I would love to know that this video helped you out to get some new customization options in Halo 3 and until we have it in January officially. If you guys enjoy these kind of tutorial videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know when you see some more content like this. Leave a comment on the video if you have had any issues or have anything else that you want to talk about. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen or over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.